This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, April 1st, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro has been bid up in recent trade with the market finally breaking to a fresh 2016 high at 114.12 thus far. At this point, next key resistance comes in the form of the October 15th high at 14.95 above and then 117 area above that. So there is some critical medium term resistance that comes into play as we head up towards 115, which could start to act as a cap on gains. But we would still need to see a break back below Thursday's low at a minimum, which comes in at 1311 to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to trade in sort of a consolidation following the latest topside failure, but overall the downside here remains intact while the market holds below 146.68 in favor of the next downside extension below 140.53 and back towards that recent seven-year low at 38.36 further down. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has been consolidating over the past several days, but it's a bearish consolidation and a break back below the recent multi-month low at 110.67 would open the door for the next major downside extension in this market towards the 107 to 108 area. At this point, only a break back above the 115 barrier would take the pressure off the downside. Euro Swiss. So not much going on with Euro Swiss with the market confined to some consolidation, but overall the market remains very well supported on dips and could see a higher low ahead of the next major upside extension beyond the multi-month highs that were set all the way back in February at 112 and towards 115 further up. At this point, a break above 11024 would do a good job of strengthening this outlook, while only back below 10810 would really delay the constructive outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has recently traded up to a fresh 2016 high at 77.23, but could start to come into, into some medium term resistance up here. At this point, though, we would need to see a break at a minimum back below the low that we'd seen on Wednesday, which comes in at 76.15 to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Dollar CAD. So signs of some form of a base potentially forming in dollar CAD with the market stalling out at a 2016 low of 128.57, just shy of the critical October base around 128.30. At this point, though, the market would need to break back above 132.96 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. But if we do see a break above 132.96, this would trigger a double bottom formation that could project a correction back into the 137s. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has stalled out from recent 2016 highs posted on Thursday at 69.67, though the market remains pressure to the top side until it breaks back below the recent support that we saw down around 68.41. Overall, there is a lot of medium term resistance up towards 70, but again, the market would need to take out 68.41 to take the pressure off the top side. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is showing signs of stalling out and exhaustion after rallying all the way up towards 2074, a fresh 2016 high. At this point, a break back below 2021 would however be required to take the immediate pressure off the top side and accelerate declines. Inability to take out 2021 will keep the short term pressure on the top side, though overall a medium term lower top is favored somewhere below 2100 in favor of the next major downside extension. Gold. So gold can continues to consolidate after breaking out above some previous resistance now turned support around 1190 and the market is favored to consolidate ahead of the next major upside extension to retest the 2015 peak from January at 1307. Only a close back below 1190 would compromise this bullish outlook.